a summary of what we have talked about in this mini lecture. So we, and then we're actually going to talk backwards. We know that our goal in this series of chemical reactions is we want to make some ATP. We want to synthesize some ATP. The way that we're synthesizing ATP is by taking some hydrogens, we are ripping them apart across the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And so we are ripping these hydrogens apart into electrons and protons. And then we are creating a really huge proton concentration gradient where we have lots of protons inside this inner membrane space. And then our electrons are staying in the electron transport chain along this inner membrane. And then what we can end up doing is using that potential energy in the big concentration gradients in order to synthesize ATP. Now, where did we get all of those hydrogens? We got those hydrogens from a whole series of chemical reactions that we did to reduce NAD to NADH. We also reduced some FAD to FADH too. So the whole goal of all of those reactions and rearrangements that we did as we were going through the Krebs cycle, the whole goal was to generate a whole bunch of reduced compounds that could then go and donate their hydrogens to the electron transport chain to ultimately synthesize ATP. Now, when you think about it, the, mo the more reduced compounds we can make, the more NADHs, the more FADH F FADH2s, the more ATP we can synthesize across the electron transport chain. So keep that in mind as we move forward and talk about catabolic reactions of other macronutrients.